day 677 being Christopher Cruz. Ah, I can't believe I record these videos. This is like such a commitment and it's such a thing to do. Like, who does this? Like who documents every day of their life, multiple times a day, the good, the bad, all of it. me um so i was just uh driving to starbucks and i um was listening to this guy named tony evans which i've never heard of before but he's talking about how the devil works and and how what happened in the garden of eden teaches us so much about the deception of the devil and how he works and how he operates and how he tries to invalidate like God's word and all these different things. And he said something really powerful. He said that God has no's in order to protect his yes. Like, you know, and, and what the devil wants to do is he wants us to look at the no's, the things that we're not supposed to. Like you're not supposed to have sex before marriage, for example, is what he used. And uh, he was saying that God has these no's in order to protect his yeses for you. And the yeses are so much more significant and powerful than the noes. And so he said like the Garden of Eden, like God said, you can eat from all of these trees, but just not that one. And, and not that one because that protected all the other ones. And so it's like God gives you noes and God's, God gives you yeses. But when God gives us noes, we have to understand that he's protecting his yeses that he has planned for us. And it's like, if you don't listen to his no's, you're gonna sacrifice your yeses. And it's like, why would you wanna sacrifice a yes from God? Like a yes from God is, is the greatest thing that you could ever get. And so, but we, want, we, we sacrifice God's yeses um, and we do the no's. And the enemy wants you to believe that, you know, these no's that God gives us, like, it's not fair. Like, why aren't we, why aren't we supposed to sin? Why aren't we supposed to do this? Why aren't we supposed to do that? Meanwhile, we're not looking at all the yeses that God has given us access to. It's like, oh man, I'm not supposed to like get drunk or something like that. But, but what are all the other yeses we can do in this world to have fun? You know, what are the, all the other yeses that we have for entertainment? And so it's like God gave us few yeses or few no's to protect all of the millions of yeses. But the enemy gets us to focus on the few no's and, and invalidate God and like go against God and all of this. And so I was just watching this and I'm like, there is so much for me to learn. There is so much for me to learn. It's crazy and it's fascinating because it's never ending. And there's so many different people with different opinions and interpretations and they're all incredible. They're, they're great. They're, it's just like my mind is expanding in ways that it never has before. And so it's just like, there's, there's nothing in the world that's more interesting for me to learn about. <laughs> like, it's just, it's fascinating to me. And, uh, so when I listen to these, it's just like, wow, it just opens my mind more and more. And I feel like God is just putting me through this process of learning and filing and learning and filing and learning and filing because I, I learn these things and I file them away somewhere in my brain. And so when I have conversations like I had last night, my brain accesses those files and, and, then, and then God uses, you know, me to speak. And then I have all these things that are lined up with that. And it's just like, it's crazy. And so I'm thinking like, man, if I could have as big of an impact as I had last night and speak as powerfully as I did last night, even though it was all God, um, with as little as I know now, imagine how powerful I will speak, how bold I will be, how, how many people I will touch with my words in a year from now. Imagine a year's worth of daily knowledge, a year's worth of wisdom, a year's worth of experience with God, a year's worth of a relationship with God. Like this is just seven months worth, but imagine a year's worth, what that could do. Imagine 10 years worth. Like I can't see a limit because the more I get into this, the more passion I feel and the more it fuels me because it's like, I know it's true. 
I just, there's just this inner, inner, deep, deep, deep knowing. It's not even in my heart. It's just my inner knowing of my heart and soul, like my, my spirit and my soul. It's just like, I know this is true. And so learning about the truth is one of the most fascinating things for me. I've been seeking the truth for a very long time. And it's like one of the most important things in my life is to understand what life is and, and what this is all about and why we're here and where we're going and, and why this and why that. Like, I think it's so crazy that most people just go through life living and they don't really stop and ever think like, what the heck is going on? Where am I? Like, what is this? this what is this thing <laughs> like what is this why am i here how did i get here what is going on why am i on a giant dirt ball floating around a ball of fire in the middle of nowhere like why don't i why can't i remember anything before i was born like what is this what happens when i fall asleep why do i need to sleep why do i when i go to sleep i disappear and then i wake back up again like what is all of this and i don't think we take enough time to just stop and pause and really wonder what is all of this? Because if you had that kind of curiosity, if you had that kind of wonder, you would start to explore and look for the answers. And and so I feel like I'm finding the answers, you know, every time I, I open the Bible. I feel like I'm finding the answers every time I listen to one of these pastors. I feel like I'm opening I'm I'm learning the answers uh every time I'm watching, you know, the science behind it all. And so it's like yeah, I feel like I'm finally getting the answers that I've been looking for my entire life. And the crazy thing is all the answers are in that book. <laughs> That's just the reality. All the answers are in the Bible. But the thing is, they might not be written in the Bible, but they're in the Bible. Because if you take a verse from the Bible and you sit and you meditate on it and you ask God for wisdom, he will take that single sentence and he will expand it into a whole concept, into a whole experience of life. And so it's not just the words that have the answers to everything in life. It's the energy behind the words. And when you sit and meditate on those words, you unlock the energy behind it. You unlock the wisdom behind it. You unlock the knowledge and the information behind it. You know, it's like you unlock the information when you meditate on it. And that's why the Bible says meditate on the word all day. And so it's like, wow, when you meditate on it, when you actually go deeper with it, God expands it. And then you understand more and more and more. And when he expands it for you, you just know it's the truth. There's this just deep inner knowing that this is the truth. And, and so many of us, like, we are blind to the truth. So many of us, we're not even looking for the truth because the truth hurts, but the truth will set you free. Like, we don't want to hear the truth. The truth does not feel good most of the time but it sets us free. And what we're all really looking for is we're looking for freedom. We just think that we're gonna find freedom in money and status and success and wealth and all these different things. When in reality, the only place we're gonna get freedom is the truth. And the truth is in that book. And when we sit and we read that book and then we sit and we meditate on that word in that book, then God expands that word into the deepest kind of wisdom that you could ever imagine. And then you understand an aspect of life and it makes sense and it clicks and then it changes who you are. It changes your actions, it changes your mind, it changes your belief systems and your thoughts and your emotions and your perspectives and it changes your identity. And it's so incredibly powerful. And that's exactly what we need in this world. And so I'm just like on fire for learning about this stuff and I feel so grateful that I'm so passionate about it and I'm so lit up by it. And I'm so grateful for my journey like I'm, you know, I envy the people who grew up with the Bible and they've got, you know, 500 scriptures memorized. Like, I wish I could just spit them out like that because I understand the power of them. But at the same time, I'm really glad I didn't grow up like that because I don't take it for granted. I look at it and it's like, I got to go on my own journey. I wasn't forced to, to turn to God. It was a choice because I tried everything else. I tried everything else. And it was like, that's not it, that's not it. This isn't the answer, this isn't, isn't the answer. And then I turn to God and it's like, wow, I finally found the answer. And it's like, when you finally get the answer, it's just like, and you know in your heart and soul you've got the answer, or that you're receiving the answer, it's just like, there's nothing more fascinating in the world. So, yeah, I'm going to go into Starbucks and read. <laughs>